Let's look at the chain rule as it relates to trigonometric functions. So here we go. Y equals sine squared X. The better way to look at this, especially at first, I think it makes more sense to students when they first get started, is to rewrite this as sine X squared. Okay? The entire function is being squared. You should remember that from trigonometry, that that's what this notation means. Sine of X all squared. So then if you think of this as a chain rule problem, you have your inside function, you have your outside function. So if I go to take the derivative of this, I should take the derivative of the outside part first. That's the power part. The inside function should stay the same. And then I should multiply by the derivative of that inside function. But what is the derivative of that inside function? The derivative of sine x is cosine x. So I should get 2 times the sine x times the cosine x. And there is my derivative. And that's a very, very common example of how a chain rule would work with trigonometric functions. Here's another one. So, I mean, we could swap this sine function out for any trigonometric function here, and this would work very similarly, but I'll leave sine in there. So what I'm gonna do first, though, is I'm gonna rewrite, I'm gonna rewrite this as the sine of 5x all cubed, okay? And so this is actually a composition function inside of another function. So we have an out, outside function, we have an inside function, but inside the inside function we have this other function. We'll handle that in a second. So let's talk about this. What do we always do? We always worry about the outside function first. So if I'm finding the derivative, the outside function, power rule, should be 3 comes out, 2 is the new power, inside function stays the same. Then we multiply by the derivative of that inside function. But that is another composition function. So in taking the derivative of that, we have to do outside function, inside function. So what do we have? We have this 3 times sine of 5x all squared times the derivative of this outside function, that's cosine, the inside would stay the same, and then we'll multiply by the derivative of the inside of this. Well then what's the derivative of 5x? That would be 5. And so we'll simplify this. We can multiply, these are all multiplied together, so we'll multiply this 3 and 5, we'll get 15. I'll write this as sine squared 5x, and cosine 5x. But this is a very typical chain rule with trigonometric functions. I mean, the most common one you come across is something that looks like this, say y equals, um, uh, let's say, tangent of uh, 2x, okay? And so this is a composition. You have an outside piece and you have an inside piece. So there's no power involved here at all. So the derivative would be the derivative of the outside. Outside, the root of tan is secant squared. The inside stays the same. And then we multiply by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of 2x is 2. And so we write this as 2 secant squared 2x. So that's, again, a very common version of the chain rule with trigonometric functions. Sometimes you see the power as part of it. Sometimes you just have this function inside. Okay, so how about this one? Again, outside function, inside function. Okay, so this is a chain rule problem. So as far as derivative goes, we need the derivative of the secant. The inside should stay the same. So what's the derivative of secant? The derivative of secant is secant x tan x. So this will be secant tangent, but the inside has to stay the same. It's still x cubed. Here and here, that's the inside of the function. This is the outside derivative.
then we will multiply this whole thing by the derivative of that inside function, which is x cubed. So the derivative of x cubed would be 3x squared. So then my derivative, sorry, I forgot to write the prime on this thing. My derivative would be 3x squared, I'll just bring this to the front, times secant of x cubed, tangent of x cubed. And that messes people up sometimes because this derivative breaks up into these two functions multiplied together. So this is the inside, this is the inside. It has to go in both places and remain the same until I multiply by the derivative of that. So this is one that I see students messed up a lot. And this power here is inside the function. That's not the same thing. So secant of x cubed and secant of x cubed are not the same thing. These are all little things you would have learned in trigonometry. So you got to remember that as well.